Cool, today we're going to take a look at scripting in Haskell again. In particular, we're going to take a look at how to handle command line arguments in a Haskell script. Okay, so we have a Haskell script here, which is called optparse.hs. Here we can see how it behaves by trying a few random things. So first of all, we call the script without any arguments, and we see that we get back an error message explaining how to use the script. So then uh, we see that the hello argument was missing. So on the next call, we call the script again with that argument uh, set to my name. And here we see that now the script does whatever it's doing and prints out hello, Ricardo. Now, we noticed before that there were a couple of um, optional arguments. So let's try them out and see what happens. So in the first case, when we pass minus Q, nothing is printed out. And in the second case, we can see that we can pass the enthusiasm as two. And here we get the string as before with two exclamation marks. Okay, let's take a look at the implementation details here. First of all, we're using a stack script as shown in previous videos. And as you can notice, we're using only one package, which is optparse applicative. Before we go on, just for transparency, I copy pasted this example directly from the readme of the package. So you can go there and read the documentation. It's really well written. So this is just an introduction and you can use it as a way to bootstrap your understanding of opparse applicative by then going to the readme on the repo. So we have two imports here. Uh, this is all we need. And one custom data type, which as you can see, is pretty much describing the arguments passed from the command line. Here down below the grid function, which is the function uh, in charge of printing to screen the final string. So as we can see here, it's taking our command line arguments and doing an IO action. In particular, whenever the quiet Boolean value is false, then we print the hello string with the past name, uh, which was the hello argument. And we concatenate to that as many exclamation marks as uh, the amount of enthusiasm we have. Okay, we need to instruct optparse applicative on how to parse sample out of the command line arguments. In this case, we have three arguments and we can see that we have the first argument, which is hello, which accepts a string. Then there is a switch, which means it can be either true or false, and is represented by either dash dash quiet or dash q. And then there's a third argument here, which is an option. And Otto says that we're going to be using the read type class to parse out of the string from the command line argument. So um, this is going to be an int. And also by default, it's going to be one. So it would be missing. And if it was missing, we would be using one as the default argument. And lastly, here we have the main function, which, um, well, it does some stuff, right? I just copy paste it normally from the readme of the package. And uh, the, I guess the only important thing here is that we execute the parser. And whenever it succeeds, we call the grid function. If it fails, optparse applicative knows to print out the error message that we saw in the previous uh, part of the video. And also here we can define some more, uh, I guess we can customize the help message that is printed in the, in the console. Also, I didn't show it in the first slide, but optparse applicative gives us for free a dash dash help command line argument, which prints a more detailed, um, summary of what the script does and what are the arguments it accepts. And that's how you parse command line arguments doing some applicative cool stuff in Haskell. 
Uh, as I already said before, the README in the package is really, really awesome. And I copy pasted 95% of what I've shown you. So uh, feel free to go there and take a look at it. In the meanwhile, if you have any feedback, please let me know. It would be super helpful for me. See you next time.